Good day. SmartGunCleaning.com here. This is a video on how to clean your magazines, specifically how to clean your 92 series Beretta magazines. But this applies to all gun magazines, what we're going to be talking about here today. First thing we want to talk about is safety. Two things. Uh, one is safety glasses. We have a link in the description to an article about the five best types of safety glasses. Uh, two would be uh, protect yourself from oils and carbon and copper and lead and stuff like that is to protect your hands to wear gloves. We also have an article which you'll find in the description uh, link to the URL on uh, types of gloves to wear. I've already got my glasses on. We're going to go ahead and put our gloves on then. I also use these gloves for filling up the gas tank because let's let's face it, when you go to a gas station and fill up a car with gas, not only do you have the gas and stuff like that that gets spilled, but you also have hundreds of people sneezing and blowing their nose and, and whatever with their hands handling the gas pump. I just, since COVID-19, I prefer not to. <laughs> We've got here the, the Boost Steady Universal Handgun Cleaning Kit. We're going to use this. We're also going to use the CLP from the Otis Elite uh, Gun System, Gun Cleaning System. And since it came in there and this kit did not come with oil, that one already came with CLP. So we've got some CLP here. We got some patches. We're going to use the rod handle and this toothbrush brush attachment. And this is really a really good kit, uh, especially if you want to go out to the range and have something handy with you at the range. Because, you know, when you're out there shooting and if you're doing any type of rapid fire or CQB, you don't just, oh, I'm going to take the magazine out. You actually let the magazine drop to the ground and you reload that next magazine. What does that mean? That means your magazine is going to get dirty. And if you're in a competition, you may want to clean that magazine while you're out on the range. And having this kit handy will allow you to do that. All right, so first thing we need to do is go ahead and unassemble or disassemble the magazine. We have a video also in the description that links to how you disassemble a magazine for the 92 series magazines, Beretta magazines. But as you can see here, it's a pretty simple process. All right, so we've, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you can see in there, it is nasty. Magazine is nasty. And you can see here, you probably can't see that as well. And this isn't too bad, but still, it's dirty. It's dirty. It should be cleaned. Absolutely. Why, you say, why should we clean our gun magazines? Well, if you're out there firing or if you need it for self-defense or something like that, you don't need to have a jam or the magazine spring not going up the magazine like it should. If you want it to fire properly more than one round and load and chamber the next round, you need to have a clean magazine. Pretty, pretty, pretty basic. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab one of our patches here. And we are going to throw a little CLP on it. Safety cap. It most certainly is. You need to push <coughs> and turn. Okay, put some CLP on here. And let's start with the magazine first. Now, easy way, because obviously my fingers are not long enough to go through here, so an easy way to do this is to go ahead and take our brush and use the brush to brush out the inside of the magazine. And look at, oh my God, look at that. Yo, oh my God, I think this thing's never been clean. We may actually use more than one patch, but we're gonna go ahead and use the other side of the patch so we can see by the coating how which side we just did. I think this is gonna take more than one patch. Absolutely, whoops, we're gonna do the other side. Same thing here. Oh my God. That is nasty. That is nasty. Needless to say, these magazines have never been cleaned. Now, I probably would prefer, I don't have one yet, but uh, a gun cleaning mat would be nice. You're not cleaning on your table, but this is a kind of a build it, catch it table that I use for different things. So that's okay for me. Might not be okay for you. 
So there is uh, an article on uh, the best types of cleaning mats out there. If you want to go ahead and clean your weapon and not have to worry about the surface that you're cleaning it on, I recommend taking a look at that. That's starting to look better. I think I'll use my fingers here. See, my fingers don't fit there very well, right? So. Honest to God, I had no idea it was that dirty. See, my finger can only go in about that far, see? So, I've got to rely on the brush. Get the far, far points. That looks much better inside. And then I'm also going to go ahead and take the same brush then and, or the same uh, patch here and uh, wipe off the exterior. Make sure that if there's any rust or dirt, we clear that off right now. And if my fingers aren't good enough for rubbing it, then we'll use the brush. I can put some little more pressure there. Perfect. All right, so that's that. Now we want to go ahead and dry this off. You don't want to have excess oil on your magazine uh, because you don't want to have any oil on your bullets as you use the weapon either. But you saw that there was some red in there too, so it's possible that there was some rusting going on in there. So by using CLP on the inside like that, you see the difference from when we first started? So we will set that aside. So there's that part, we can do the same with this part. I mean, we can use our hand here. I mean, you could use the brush too if you want. You could probably get a little bit better at some of these points. And then we use this for drying. So like I said, you don't want it to be, there's no reason for it to be wet when it's chambering around. But you do want it to be clean. Same thing with the base. Use the brush itself here, because he's got you got the grooves that go in to hold the spring, right? And then finally, the spring. Yes, even the spring can be done. Should be done. I mean, it's going to. If it's a steel spring, it looks like there might be some red in here too. All right, see how now on, on this particular magazine, so on the last magazine I, I looked at, uh, this was coiled all the way around and touching, so I couldn't easily take this off. So if you're gonna take it off though, so see how we've got it set here, like this. So on the first hoop, when you flip it over, this is the knob we push to re release the tension so we can take it off. So we should be able to pop that off like that. Let's give this a rub. Clean this off. Dry it off. That's the other thing about oil. If you have excess oil on these things, what does oil do when you're in a dusty environment? It's gonna attract dust. And that's what we're, we don't wanna do that either. And now we come down to the spring. Take a little CLP. That really is a good safety lock. I like that. Some CLP on there. Now what I want to do, 
actually. So I want to kind of wrap this around. That's what I want to do. I want to wrap around like this. So then I can more easily run around and not miss any area. We just keep turning, rotating until we get to the very end and it'll come right off. <laughs> See? So, nice. There we go. It's a lot better than what we started. Let's go ahead and put it back together. Now, we're saying, oh, shoot, which side's which? Well, so this one goes in the shapes the same way as the uh, magazine itself. This one's got the hook on it. So the one with the hook on it is correct. We want this to be like this when we're finished. So we're going to go ahead and slide this here. Remember what I said? goes like that. I want to go ahead and wipe this off one more time with a dry one. <sighs> Another good reason for using gloves when you're cleaning your weapon, your fingers have natural oils and salts on them. And there's no reason to, why, why would you want to, <laughs> you just cleaned this, you just cleaned your gun or you just cleaned your magazine. And now you're going to put more oils and salts right back on it when you're done. Uh, it's not making much sense. Okay, first, remember we said large side, beveled side. Then comes the spring. Remember I said angles, same angle. I say it, we've made a video on how to Disassemble and reassemble this magazine. Go ahead and check it out. And we put pressure here. Hear the click. There you have it. Here's how you clean a 92 series Breda magazine. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video. More magazine cleaning and gun cleaning videos and articles on smartguncleaning.com. Thanks.